this is my fifth time trying to make this video because it's been difficult to try to find the best way to say what I'm about to say in this video. And I'll be covering three subjects in this video, and that is the ISO range that I covered in video six with the noise issue that I ran into, but you can check out video six. I have a link down in the description, up in the card, somewhere on the screen, and I'll have a link at the end of this video. Second, I'll be attempting my first giveaway in this video, so bear with me. I'm gonna make sure that you get every chance that you can get in order to get a full-time or a lifetime license to Dehancer, plus a one month subscription to their mobile app. And third, um, I'll be deciding whether I wanna continue to use the Fujifilm X-H1 as my main A-Roll camera in these videos. There may be a fourth, but let's wait to the end of the video. Now, going back to the ISO ranges that I talked about in video six, I really couldn't see any noise at all whatsoever. When I looked at the log image, when I looked at the converted Rec. 709 image, and when I looked at it graded with Dehancer, I really couldn't see any noise. It was there when you look close, but it looked natural. It also looked like film grain. And even when I graded it down in Dehancer, it still looked good. And I applied noise reduction and it softened it up, but it still looked good to be honest. I mean, you honestly don't really need the noise reduction. If you wanna add grain, you can just leave the noise in there and then add grain to boost it a bit, but it looks good. And if you don't have access to grain, you can access it in Dehancer. Dehancer is a film emulation plugin that helps with creating the filmic look that everybody's been chasing for a while now. It takes out all of the guesswork and allows you to create custom looks that you can use repeatedly and even create LUTs and presets to cut down on color management and color grading time. It emulates analog film. The controls are simple to use and it comes with film grain, film damage, exposure adjustments to fine tune the look. It is a full service plugin, meaning you can convert and grade log footage directly in Dehancer and you don't have to shoot in log it doesn't matter which profile you shoot in you shoot in the standard profile and still use the answer to give it that little filmic boost like i said that everybody's been chasing for a while i guess i could say filmic but i guess the word that has been going around is cinematic so going for that cinematic look the answer is the way to go i've been a dehancer user for a little over a year now closing in on a year and a half, and they offer to give you a lifetime license and a one month subscription to Dehancer Mobile. They only offer one to give away, and there are two ways to get Dehancer, so you wanna make sure you have a chance to get it. You wanna leave a comment below with the number of times that it has taken me to record this video. Basically, which attempt is this video? I mentioned it earlier, about a couple minutes ago, it's probably been less than a minute but it's been about 10 minutes for me and the second is to check out the photo guide that i listed down in the description two chances one chance is to leave a comment on this video second chance is to check out the photo guide that's linked down in the description now back to the isos i honestly have to say after running this entire series there's really not any base iso you could use i mean you could probably use the entire range it really depends on what you're shooting and if you have some workarounds deliver the best piece of work that you can, then do as you will when it comes to the settings in this camera and any other camera. Now, if you made it this far, I will continue to use the Fujifilm X-H1 for these videos. Right now, I'll continue to use it for A-roll and eventually B-roll. And once I get to the B-roll heavy videos, yeah, that's when I'll use it for the B-roll. Recording on a Sony a7 IV right now, just so I can have this in the frame. This is the rig that I shot it on this entire series. I think I used the Fujifilm 16 to 35 millimeter f2.8 once, or 16 to 55 millimeter f2.8. F I only used it once, but this is the setup I was using, the Fujifilm X-H1 with the Rokinon 12 millimeter f2, the Deity D3 mic, the um, first one, not the Pro with the ND Cine 4K monitor um, and some peripherals, but do keep a lookout for the videos that will be um, that I will be making to continue on to this series, but I will be making more videos going forward about other things like using this external recorder right here and using maybe use a, the Sony's a7 IV a little bit more. We'll see, whatever happens, happens. But I guess that you can call that the fourth thing I wanted to cover in this video, but I want to thank you for joining me for this, the beginning portions of this series while staying awesome. Stay awesome. I know there's a lot of stuff on this desk.